Hey y'all, what y'all saying? Um, yeah, so this is going to be a quick video. <laughs> it's going to be a blog talk, but um, I realized all the topics I have is old. Like last week and shit, and the week before, because I wrote these down and I haven't made a video yet, because this is the first time I'm really having the house to myself. Um, if y'all don't know, I just moved back to the Bahamas, so... Yeah, this is the first time I'm really having the house to myself where I can actually do a video. Hopefully it won't be this bad. <laughs> like, so far in between. Um, but, yeah, a lot has happened since I've been back. And so let's... Before I start this video, I want to make a couple announcements. Um, say announcements. Some Yeah, some church announcements. Um, I have to say rest in peace to Dr. Miles Monroe. Him, his wife, and seven other people died in a plane crash earlier this week. Um, I think it was Sunday past, I believe. And um, for those of you who don't know who Miles Moreau is, he is a pastor here in the Bahamas, but he's also a... He has written a lot of inspirational books that, that has been all around the world, and he's done many speaking engagements to um, all over the world, actually, um, the week last week he was actually in Africa which hey the light changed yeah he was actually in Africa so um doing a speaking engagement and um he is the pastor of Bahamas Faith Ministries down here in the Bahamas and I'm sure if you go in Walmart I know I have seen his books there um but yeah he died in a fatal plane crash um what they said happened was it was really bad weather um in Freeport on Sunday and um that's the island he was flying to and apparently they were circling looking um getting ready to land and um they were flying really low and they I guess the wing clipped one of the cranes that was in the shipping yard and then the plane crashed um so that's what happened him um his wife I think the youth minister for Bahamas Faith Ministries is, and a few other people I can't, I know I should have written their names down, which is really bad, but I'm um, rest in peace and my condolences to their families if they ever see this, I don't know. Um, but also, you know, like when you find stuff out, like what has, like late after everything has happened, um, apparently he has been preaching, I think the same day, earlier that day, because their plane crashed on a Sunday, I believe. Yeah, it was Sunday. Um, <clears throat> earlier in the, I guess, when he preached his, when he did his sermon earlier that day, he uh, was saying, was being very cryptic, saying how um, his, pretty much he knew he was going to die. That's kind of like what they were saying. Like, everybody's saying he had some premonition because he preached about, um, <clears throat> His time here has been fulfilled and he's done what he's needed to do and he's passing it on to so-and-so. And, -so. and um, apparently that's not the first time that has happened, but um, I guess now it kind of makes sense that, and then people are saying that he's he had a premonition that he at some point this week he was going to die. So I don't know what the deal is. That, that was kind of um, spooky per se or eerie cryptic, whatever. But it's just, it was really sad how it happened because kind of like the whole Bahamas has been affected by him because he's one of the most inspirational people down here. And um, to have a loss like that, it's like, it hurts. Even if you didn't know him personally, you knew of his teachings, you know? <clears throat> so it's like, um, it's a great loss and it's like a very depressing, dreary cloud over the Bahamas right now. So, um, everybody keep his family in prayers. Um, also, uh, one of our favorite YouTubers, The Ghetto View, she had her surgery last Friday. And, um, I know she's admitted back to the hospital for the pain and stuff like that, but, um, I haven't seen her post anything on Instagram today. Today is what, Thursday? Yeah, I haven't seen her post anything yet, but, um... I'll keep her in prayers as well, that her healing, that she has a speedy recovery and all that stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let's get into all these stupid blogs. Foolishness. Um, 
I can't remember if I said I the chalkboard I have is old, but I'm just going from memory from what I've been seeing for the past couple of days. Um, so yeah, the Leah movie's coming out this weekend. Um, are y'all gonna watch? Let me know. I still haven't decided yet. If I see it on, I might catch it. I don't. I haven't decided on anything about that. But um, Wendy did an interview with Alexandra Ship, the girl who's playing Aaliyah, and she seems like a very sweet girl, but I don't know if she is Aaliyah. But we have to see the movie to actually judge. Um, that's the first thing. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But she was okay in the Drumline movie, she, I guess. But she explained her story and all the stuff like that when... um. During the interview, y'all can go on her U Wendy's YouTube page and watch it. Um, what else? What the fuck is that? <laughs> um, sorry. Um, I'm like sitting in front of a window, <laughs> and I know how Rox feels when she's sitting in her car making these videos because I can see like people passing, and every car that passes like, grabs my attention. <laughs> so yeah I need to stop doing that um, but this seat has really good lighting <laughs> don't y'all agree <laughs> anyway uh, let me get back to what I was saying um, what's the next story I'll do um, like the stuff that I have is so old um so yeah, they did, uh, so y'all know about the cat call video, right? Um, okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I was, well, yeah, I was still in Miami when I watched, no, I was in Miami, I was already here. Um, when I watched the interview with the girl who's in the cat call video, and you know the video of the girl who walked around New York for 10 hours, and um, where all the different people made, like, comments to her like saying hey pretty beautiful and stuff like that um okay here's my thought on that she what she what the video I guess they what their point was was they were trying to bring awareness to how women are um being treated while they're outside like with as far as cat calls and stuff like that how often it happens but I was like, okay, so it's a good thing. And then I've been seeing a lot of different sides of the whole video. Um, and especially the interview. I'm going to get to that in a second. But um, so this chick, she walks around for New York for 10 hours. And a parent allegedly that um, during the 10 hours, she was saying that every she would get like two or three cat calls within an hour. Um, okay, I, two or three within an hour. Personally, I don't think that's so bad. Y'all, we can agree to disagree, but I mean, two or three within an hour, that's not too bad, to me at least. And then um, the way it was edited, they were saying, that they were only showing the black and Latin men catcalling her, no white guys. But then in the, in the interview that the girl did with, um, was it Access Hollywood Entertainment? Not Entertainment Tonight. It was Access Hollywood Live. Um, she was saying that um, it was a, wa vast, a vast majority of people, all different races, ages, that um, made comments towards her. I'm like, okay, but then the way it was edited, all you saw was black guys and some latin men but one part one thing i did find creepy was that um guy who walked on the side of her for five minutes that was weird i don't know if that was just a coincidence that they were going in the same direction but that was just creepy i'm sorry that was creepy and that's not safe at all but um another thing um when she did the interview i'm like this girl you know, she has the vocal rise, so she talks like a Kardashian. She's like, um, yeah, so, oh my god. Yeah, she talks just like that. And I'm like, ugh, that turned me off a little bit. But what the video was trying to bring awareness to, I'm like, okay, I'll bypass that. 
But then after watching the interview in full, I'm like, okay, this girl turned me completely off. Like she was talking about um, if this girl said she was an, she said she's an actor at least seven or eight times within that little five minute interview. And how she started off is, well, um, I'm an actor and I'm always looking for new gigs and stuff like that. And I found the ad on Craigslist um, for something and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, this is going to be awesome. And I'm like, since I'm an actor, I'm always looking for new challenges, challenges as an actor. I'm like, bitch, we get it. You're a fucking actor. So that turned me off completely. And... I just found that whole interview like girl you're not helping this situation because there's like so much controversy behind it and it's like you're really not helping this at all so I'm I wash my hands of that I'm at first I'm like okay yeah this is bringing good awareness but uh, you're you turned me off from that whole thing mmm so yeah moving on um they have Nikki and SB's The Real Story by They Broke Up, but um, that's not interesting anymore. <laughs> uh, what I guess what is interesting that's surrounding Nikki is the lyric video for her only song with Drake, Lil Wayne, and Chris Brown. They were saying that it was a lot of um, similarities to the Nazi era and stuff like that. I mean... Um, Jesus. This car just drove past and looked right in my yard. Like, they're looking at me. And they can't see me. Like, there's so much shit blocking me, but I can see them. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, the it was a lot of, I guess, similarities with the Nazi era. And um, they were saying, trying to do is um, make comparison that the Young Money logo looks a lot like the Nazi symbol. And I'm like, that's... The reach the young money some of those look like that for a while but um i guess nikki made uh she took full responsibility for the video and she explained what is what behind it i mean to people who are jewish they who felt offended by it i mean that's your prerogative that's your i mean i'm not trying to knock anything from anybody you can feel it how you want but i didn't really pay attention to it like that I didn't even watch it I only saw like clips of it and I'm like okay why would I want to watch a lyric video when I can hear the song on my phone I, I mean to me lyric videos are pointless if it's not the real video I'm not paying attention to it that's just me I guess but um people got all up in a tiff for it so it is what it is um yeah this thing about Starbucks I found really weird um Starbucks is banning all engagement rings they so they I don't know if y'all heard but yeah they're they're allowing the actual wedding bands like the plain wedding bands with no jewelry or anything with no diamonds or anything on it they're allowing that but they don't allow engagement rings which is the rock I'm sorry if the rock is real it's not coming out you know what I'm saying um so I don't understand why they would ban it but they allow piercings yeah they said they would allow piercings they said piercings are okay but they're banning engagement rings i found that kind of fucked up that's like jeez and um i've noticed when i've read the story a lot of people are banning starbucks now <laughs> i mean not banning are boycotting starbucks like um i saw this one guy he says um, me and my fiance we're engaged duh because you called her your fiance but um he said that since you ban engagement rings for the workers how are they supposed to um justify who is single and who's not i'm like okay whatever but um he said that they're going to go to dunkin donuts instead i'm like yeah well, okay fine i'm not gonna lie i haven't had starbucks in a minute and i like some to me mcdonald's iced coffee is actually really good and um, Dunkin' Donuts own is really good too, so I guess it is what it is. Y'all pick y'all choose, but I just found that really weird that Starbucks would ban engagement rings. That's so dumb. And they don't ban, they say they ban, no, they say you're allowed to wear necklaces, but it has to be worn under your thing, under your uniform or whatever. 
And they go, great. <laughs> I sorry, that was so dry just now. <laughs> um, what else do I have on here? Um, this love and hip hop arrest thing, like, and all the drama behind that. Did y'all see? By the way, did y'all see that interview with um, Morgan and Tiara? Okay, Morgan just came off as she, I mean, she was hurt by the whole thing. You can see it. But it's like, you allowed a lot of that, you allowed all that stuff to happen. I'm not saying that she allowed him to put his hands on her in front of her son. No, that's fucked up. I'm not saying she allowed that, but she noticed it was abusive from the jump. And she covered up the whole situation. I mean, that is her job, but you know how this dude is carrying on. And you still fucking around with him? That's... Curless on you. You, I get that he was like family to you, but at the end of the day, you still was working for him, you know. And yeah, you. She kind of came off as a scorned lover to me, as that's how she came off. But um, Tierra, that whole interview, like everybody else was saying, she wasn't herself. Like, it was like she was holding something back. So I really can't wait to see what the hell went on with during the reunion. Because it's like this girl, they were saying that she found out something. So it's like, hmm, this is going to be interesting. So, I mean, I'm like, fuck the rest of the season. I want to see what the hell gone down at the reunion. <laughs> and I hope they don't draw it out to be like three of um two or three different parts because like uh, it ain't needed this is their first season um let it be one episode and call it a day um they say it's coming on in december so thank god we have like what two more episodes two or three more episodes of this fuck shit until the reunion i can't wait so <laughs> um oh yeah also um apparently youngberg got arrested for beating up masika in their hotel room, and um, he got fired from the show as a result of it. Chaw? That's on you, buddy. <laughs> you could beat up this gal, but then you can't beat up the niggas who snatch your chain. Oh, all right. Okay. We see how you just carry on. <laughs> but for real, though, like, you want to play all Thug and Jackson, like, you freaking about that life, but yet you beating up this girl for what for paying your tab that you couldn't freaking pay off and you supposedly have so much money that anyway yet you can't pay your fucking child support or your bar tab like who fucking does that who does that <laughs> anyway moving on from them because he he is a fuck boy from um from he got on the show but the thing is, I respected him because he told you up front. Well, he told Hazel up front what the deal was. But then again, he fucking her best friend now. I mean, Shaw, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> anyway, um, what else I got? Uh, let me see what I can remember from the top of my head. Um, did y'all see, um, what the bitch name? Kim Kardashian's paper magazine cover. It's a nice Jeep. Yeah, did y'all see her paper magazine cover? Like, her titties out, ass out. Like, I'm so tired of seeing her oily ass everywhere. Like, girl. I was actually getting used to her, um, like, just walking around being um, a mom to her kid, her daughter. And, like, she does what she normally does, um, walks up and down out of restaurants and out of gyms and out of shit like that with North on her hip. <laughs> like, I got used to that. And now she fucking all oiled up and ass out and titties out. And I'm like, really, I'm tired of seeing you like this. Like, it was nice seeing her in mommy mode, you know? Anyway, um, I'm not saying it's a bad cover, but I'm just saying I'm tired of seeing her, like, like that, you know? Y'all get what I'm saying? Anyway, it is what it is. Um, what else? Uh, 
Chris Brown and Trey Songs is going on tour. That's and Tag is going with them too. Um, I forget what they called it. Between the Sheets tour. What? What do they call it? I forget. <laughs> I think it is Between the Sheets or something like that. But didn't um, Kevin and McHale from the Scorpion Show recommended that name or something like that? Someone recommended that name. Anyway, um, you know, let me see. Check. Um, Thing I'm right quick before um, Nicole, all my other blogs that I go on. Let me check them right quick, see if anything interesting is on there. But anyway, how's y'all day going while I'm looking? <laughs> um, I hope all y'all are enjoying y'all day so far. Be grateful because you're up for another one and you're on your hustle. Whatever, this shit taking too long. <laughs> I don't have patience. Um, so I guess there I'll end the video. Um, y'all have a great day or have a great weekend or have a great week whenever y'all watch this. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll post this whenever I can. <laughs> Alrighty, see y'all later.